but how did I know? How did I know FedEx would do that shit? <coughs> All right, so today is Monday, and I know I don't normally record on a Monday, but there's a couple things that I think are worth noting. First of all, I feel so much better. It's been like a solid week and a day since I've been sick and I'm almost 100% feeling better. But I'm working back here and it fucking stinks. Like, has anyone else worked in a enclosed environment working with spray paint or shit like that? That's how bad it smells. The problem is we don't have spray paint. We're not working with spray paint. So that means that the people next door to us are using spray paint and if it is this bad in here I don't want to know what it's like over there because my eyes are burning with how much stuff is here also the second thing that is noteworthy today is Brady's wearing his hat backwards so which I've almost I don't I can't even remember a time where I've seen you wear a hat backwards puts less pressure on my head because I have a literal headache from the paint so this makes it easier on my head well minus the headset good morning uh it's god i don't know how to intro just as far as news today not really much of anything other than we've got a lot more holes which sold the mark 18 avalon missing a g and g we're missing a G&G &G with the G2H or the G2 gearbox. So those holes have to be filled. We're actually missing quite a few ARP 9s as well. So that's three empty spots within the G&G &G area. So those are gonna have to get filled in here pretty quickly. I know we're gonna do an order. And then we've got a hole for the shotgun section. So I know those are gonna be on the list of stuff that's going to get reordered pretty quickly um we just got in valken for the newest order from shot show um oh fedex <sighs> ah fedex 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 i'm sure you guys remember a while ago when i was giving fedex shit for missing our delivery days just because they didn't want to show up and then leaving packages with, you know, our larger orders just sitting out in the, uh, in front of our door way before we open so anyone could just take them. And now FedEx has, we are supposed to get our PTS order this week. That didn't show up because that was shipped via FedEx. And FedEx is fucking us over for not having our PTS stuff. That was the one that we were expecting big things from. In fact, Carl, who normally comes to the shop to do his reordering of products for the arena, he delayed doing a restock for another day, day and a half. So he came back on Friday, hoping that the PTS order would show up. PTS order did not show up on Friday, so I had to check the shipping, and I found out via the tracking app for FedEx that it's delayed until Monday. So, we don't get our PTS magazines, our PTS helmets, our PTS rail systems, our PTS grips, anything PTS until tomorrow, even though it was supposed to be expected this week. All right, so this is Wisconsin, where it snows in February, and it's a lot of snow. So, what time is it? See, I shoveled about an hour ago, and I have to go shovel again. I'm take you guys with me. Urgh. 
Somehow I just knew that FedEx would screw up again. Look at that. Here they are. FedEx. How did I know that FedEx would possibly be late for delivering our packages? Because they just dropped off PTS. How did I know that they would be, was it five days now? Five days late on shipping and would deliver on the day that they said they would 30 minutes before we open. Yeah, so it's 11.30 now. We don't open until noon. So myself and Brady don't get here until 11.55 because we're pretty tight about scheduling. But how did I know? How did I know FedEx would do that shit? PTS, if you're watching, or LBX, I know you two are really big on shipping via FedEx, so please, please stop shipping via FedEx, please. I went out to help the FedEx driver and a box, the biggest box that he had in his truck almost fell on us when he opened up his back doors. It was like the lift thing, so he had to like force it open because this heavy ass box was just weighing down against the back door and almost crushed us. And the entire backspace was a mess. Nothing was organized. Everything was in shambles. Boxes were getting ripped open from getting tossed in there as he's driving, I'm sure like a maniac. So please, PTS, LBX, I'm not calling you guys out for shipping via FedEx and choosing a bad delivery company, but please, please stop shipping via FedEx, please. For the sake of your products, the products that the people want, please stop shipping via FedEx. I'm begging you. But now, now I can actually open up PTS and actually see all the new shit that we brought in. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, so opened up the PTS order. First things are gonna be the Flux helmets. Uh, these are the ones that Carl was really excited about. Uh, unfortunately, he's not here to hold them and try them on. But I know I'm gonna get one, but the hard decision is do I get black, OD, or coyote? I don't have an OD-based helmet yet. I don't really have a black one either. But coyote is kind of like my go-to color. I think I'm just going to go with the OD one just for variety's sake. We've got in some more rail systems, the Centurion arms, the CMR, and the low profiles with the M-Locks that are going to be 8.6 inch and the 13.5. We also have these Mark 18 suppressors in the black. Did we pick up a tan one? Nope, we got just the black ones. But that's okay, the black ones are the most popular. And we've got some uh, muzzle brakes or these comps for uh, M4 base or really, really any type of platform in the clockwise and counterclockwise configurations. We've got a whole box of the four grips that you see right there, the two tan ones. I got the long and the short and the black and tan. I got mostly black because that's what I'm completely out on but I did know I was low on tan, so I picked some more of those up. But we finally have the black foregrips. And then of course we've got the SpeedQB branded of PTS magazines. The blue, the orange, and the red. We also picked up the EPM ones. Um, we do not have any more of the standard uh, PTS EPM magazines. Uh, the difference being uh, is this one. So this is one of my EPMs. So this is the 140 rounder. These guys are the 220 rounders. Does it say? Nope, I guess we're gonna have to load one of these up and see how many it actually holds. And then we've got some more of the, or not some more, but we just picked up the side plates here. The side plates are gonna be for the uh, 6094-esque plate carriers. 
that are going to have the larger front and larger rear, but it also has a spot just for a side plate, and that's going to be replica of the real one, so you would put your side plates there to protect from, at least within the real world, bullets coming in from the side here if you get super flanked. But the Airsoft, it's all about replica, and some of the more hardcore guys want to have the side plates. Now, that's my favorite thing to do with those PTS EPM magazines, is I honestly can just throw them across the arena and nothing happens to them. And they still feed phenomenally. And guess what? After probably three years now, since I got like my first EPM, I finally had to change out the internals. But hey, PTS EPM internals are replaceable. So for that one magazine out of the eight that I own, I've only had to replace one so far. So easy, 14 bucks, swap out the internals, and I am back good to go for the EPMs. But now we have the EPM ones. So these are gonna be, I think the 220 rounders. So glad to see that, I guess. Finally, we're seeing, seeing some new products here in the store. Uh, we've also got the Tidex stuff, but I already told you guys about that yesterday. Get out of there. Brady's supposed to be here. Brady is not here. Where are you, Brady? Come, on, come here. Scratch the helmet. There's this weird texture to it. It's a, it's a very unique type of texturing. I don't know how intentional that is. Oh, shoot, <gasps> UPS is here. What do we have from UPS? It's from Valken, but it's 18 pounds for this small box. So we're gonna just crack it open. You know, I never believed other YouTubers on how difficult it is to do things through the camera, but let me, let me tell you, it's really hard. You know, cause I can't cut with the camera off to the side here and see it in person. No, I have to do it through the camera and it's, it is something else. Three, two. Look who's late. Oh, okay. Yeah, Falcon 3-2s. We're just gonna... Now slide those in right there. And... You know what, we'll... We're just gonna hide these right there. You know, we're dark enough, they kind of blend in well. And then if someone wants that weight, I don't even know what that weight was. What was like, a 3-6? And I'm just like, eh, I guess we're out of three sixes. But we got these new three twos. You know what would have been super cool? If I didn't wear my PTS shirts, the two PTS shirts I had, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and now they're currently in the dryer hoping they would get dried on time. I got you, fam. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to wear it on the day that we got our PTS order. I may or may not have planned that out. So thanks, FedEx, for fucking it up. Woo. So just in a couple minutes of me and Brady just grabbing our helmets is that we have found out that you really kind of have to just customize the inner Velcro and foam to what fits you the best. Cause this is my original helmet, or kind of like my go-to helmet, and that's the new PTS one. I don't want you to scratch, so I'm gonna put you right there. So very different, and I am really gonna have to get used to how this is gonna fit compared to this. So when we get our night vision, this is gonna be the one I'm wearing. Same. 
For sure. And it's funny because I don't have a base green helmet. So this is my first green one. You were like all black helmet though. Yeah, but I'm also going to get helmet covers for it so I can have it green and tan. <laughs> This is how my night vision would look if I got it. <laughs> oh, so you know, Brady, half of each magazine pile is going to the arena. Half of it's going to me? To the arena. To me. To the arena. Yeah, the arena and me. So, if we sell out of like our five of the EPM tans, we cannot pull from the arena stock. Rip. Because I know that these mics are going to sell very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. And look, more black for grips. Oh, FYI, with your mounts, you may want to be careful. I don't think you have a real one. You have the same mount as me. Hmm. Just tighten those screws up. It might have been the six millimeter then. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have to commit. I have to commit. <laughs> Oh, I hope that lined up. I really hope that lined up. Okay, so there's these holes for you to hook into. Yes. Except, how do you it doesn't. <laughs> so it looks like these side ones right here, these guys, are cut a little differently on the sides. As in, like, one is left, one is right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's definitely a left and a right. I think. And then just commit. Oh, that was supposed to go up just a little higher. I committed. I shoot. Alright, it's think. Alright, you can learn from my mistake. And God damn it. So that front broker is just going to be a little messed up. So this morning, as you saw, we received the PTS order. What was not intended and was completely accidental was what colors Brady and I chose and also what color of kit we got here to date in store as far as our personal gear. So I'm going to show his gear first. So Brady's rocking Ranger Green LBX and he's got it pretty well kitted out. He's got a lot of stuff on there, but he chose the black flux helmet versus me. Brady, I think we're actually just kind of contrasting today. A little you're, bit. You're wearing like a green pant and a black. I am. And you're wearing green and black shirt, but look at this. Green, black, just a LBX again. And then green flux helmet. Man. We're doing like this really weird contrasty thing today. What the fuck's wrong with us? I think it's actually pretty cool. Yes, but also we need to get our shit together. I mean, this is kind of like. I, this is together. I mean, this is some good shit, but. We should almost like take a picture of how, <laughs> how uniquely color coordinated we are. The video just doesn't do it justice. Mm -hmm. It does not. Right, let's see if I can get this in picture mode.